You loved her. I loved her. We all loved Lucy. Lucille Ball is an American icon and was one of the most influential women in entertainment. As Lucy in the I Love Lucy show, she captivated audiences from all over the world, along with her then-husband, Desi Arnaz. But she didn't stop there. The Hollywood actress went on to become the first woman to run a major television studio, while she tirelessly continued to act. On April 18, 1989, complaining of chest pains, Lucille Ball was rushed to a hospital where doctors diagnosed a dissecting aortic aneurysm. She underwent an emergency aortic transplant. But eight days later, her aorta ruptured again, and she couldn't be saved. Lucy was 77 years old. You know, what a, mm -hmm. an icon. Yeah. And it's just interesting. We oftentimes don't think about how these celebrities in our lives lose their own life. And if nothing else, we can teach a little bit about what happened to her because Aortic dissection, it's something we've discussed a few times on the show before, but it can happen so quickly and so suddenly. You can go from one moment being completely fine and within a few minutes literally be dead. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's so very scary. But I do want to just take a moment and describe to everyone what we're talking about visually with an aortic dissection. And the first thing I'll tell everyone is that not all chest pain is the same, and not all chest pain is a heart attack. Now, aortic dissection, you often will have a ripping, tearing sensation in your chest, and it can happen immediately. And the reason that that pain comes on so suddenly, and I'm gonna describe it to you, because your heart's beating along. Now, your aorta is the major blood vessel that sends blood to the rest of your body. This is the arch of the aorta. It then winds around and sends blood literally to the rest of your body. You're seeing the lower section right there. What can happen? Fortunately, it's fairly rare, but what can happen is if this is the aorta and this is the inner wall of the aorta, it can actually tear. And when that tears, and it can happen suddenly, what occurs is blood is supposed to come down here. And what happens? It sends blood to your arms and to your legs. But when a dissection occurs, when this tear occurs, it creates a false channel. So instead of going down to your legs and the rest of your body, the blood actually dissects through this flap and fills this false channel with blood. So blood no longer gets where it's supposed to go. It fills this false channel. And then, sadly, what all too often happens is it will rupture. And when an aortic dissection ruptures, it's such massive blood loss, and it occurs under such high pressure that literally within what seems like moments, someone can pass away. And we do know that there are some people who are born with aortic aneurysms, and that's where that arch of the aorta, you can develop an aneurysm there. That is a weakened arterial wall. That is at risk for a dissection. Mm -hmm. If you have that in your family, or you know that you have that, you have to be very, very careful because, uh, as I mentioned, if you ever have symptoms of severe sudden onset of chest pain, and it's a ripping, tearing sensation that goes towards your back with shortness of breath, and you have other issues, loss of vision, weakness. Sometimes the dissection will be so great that you're not even getting any blood flow to, to your lower extremities or maybe even your left arm, depending upon where that dissection is. So pay attention to those symptoms. But I think the most remarkable thing, or the one thing we should take away with this, or from this, is that you can't always prevent a dissection. Remember John Ritter, mm -hmm. we've talked about him before, well, he died. Well. Silent, he, he had mm -hmm. no clue and it just happened. Just happened. Mm -hmm. But there is some good news. You can take action when it comes to your own life. What can you do to help prevent one of these dissections or aneurysms from, from occurring? Like we say, control your blood pressure, don't smoke, try to maintain your ideal body weight. If you do have a family history or a known aortic aneurysm, you need to keep in constant contact with your doctor. And, you know, this is one of those difficult things where sometimes once it happens, it's just too late. Mm -hmm.